next one? You shout it. You shout it. Your mind can't stop you now. Nobody else can stop you. Hallelujah. See, if you, if you find yourself in trouble of some kind, maybe there's a problem at work or something wrong with your business, you know, instead of sitting down and calculating and recalculating and say, I can't understand. I don't understand. What? No, no, no. Relax. The Bible says, the Bible says, there's no disadvantage to the child of God. He says, all things, all things work together for good to them that love God. He says, all things work together. All things work together for good to them that love God. The question is, do you love God? If you do, you don't have a care in the world. He says, all things work together for good. Even your mistakes work together for good. It's a fact. You see, because we can't take anything out of it. He says, all things work together. That's why a child of God doesn't brood over, oh, I just, oh, what a blunder. Oh, oh, what a mistake. Oh, oh, ah, 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 ah. He said, Father, I thank you. I thank you. Oh. You see, you've got to come up to, there's a level. You see, there's a level in Christ. Where you understand what John meant when he said that the man in Christ does not sin. You haven't found out that. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of Christians are still debating it, what it's supposed to be. They say, it does not, it's, it means continue. It does not continue. It may sin, but it should not continue. Um, some say, uh, well, it means that it should not, it should not sin in practice. Um, it, the word does not require any extra breaking down. It was so emphasized, so repeated several times in the Bible there, that to leave us in no doubt as to what he meant to say. You cannot, I want you to hear this, you cannot walk in love and sin at the same time. It is impossible. Are you still there? It's very important. And you know, in walking in love, for example, you can't walk in love towards, um, uh, let's put it this way, to steal from this brother so you can pay this one, okay? You're owing a brother here, so you steal from this one to pay this one because you love this one so much. You can't steal from this one because the love is not only toward one person and to this one as well. So you're not going to steal to pay. Can you see it? So walking in love is the perfect description as to walking seamlessly. That's what he called us to do. Walk in love. What's the problem of most people is that they don't understand what it is. They don't understand what life, what the Bible actually says we ought to do. They don't know what is wrong. They don't know what is right. They've made up their minds as to what is wrong and what is right. Instead of studying the scriptures. So the word of God should interpret to them what life they ought to be living. Hallelujah. So you come up to a level in your life where you, you hey, let me, can I show you one, one other scripture? You ready? Ho, ho, ho. Thank you.
your Lord Jesus. Turn to book of Romans. Romans chapter 5. I want you to read verse 5. He says, and hope make it not ashamed because the love of God, the love of God is shared widely abroad, he says, in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. The love of God is in our hearts. Oh, praise God forevermore. The love of God is shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. We've got an abundance of love in our hearts. The love of God in our hearts, right? Okay, turn to 2 Corinthians. 2 are two things to understand from what I'm going to read to you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have you seen it? Chapter 4, 2 Corinthians. Read for me verse 6. says God who commanded the light and shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts the love of God is spread abroad shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost and it says God who commanded the light and shine out of darkness had what shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ fantastic this is wonderful wow I said two things there. First, is what it says about our hearts. The light of God that's in our hearts. The love of God, the light of God. The love of God, the light of God. If you walk in love, you will be walking in the light. And yet the Bible says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, automatically cleanses us from all sin. Is that all right? Now watch this. This is beautiful. Oh, dear, dear, dear Lord. Here's the second thing. Which comes first in that verse? For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness. Did you, did you see that? He didn't say that God commanded the darkness to become light. He didn't say that God brought light into the darkness. Any of those things would have been okay. But he did something even better. He brought, my goodness. I don't know whether you have, uh, do you understand where we're going? <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. The, the thought of it. He brought light out of darkness. Do you understand what? Do you understand this? How can light come out of darkness? and light cannot mix you can't hide light in the darkness yet the Bible says God commanded light to shine out of darkness oh. kindly subscribe turn in your notification bell like comment and share Thank you.